click to go to the island section. Mata Nui was once an island paradise. Then Makuta came, bringing darkness and fear. A prophecy foretold that six heroes would appear to save the island. And so the six Toa, each with their elemental powers, came to Mata Nui to begin their quest. There was Tahu, the Toa of Fire, the guardian and master of heat and lava. Gali, the Toa of Water, has tidal waves and rainstorms as her domain. Onua, the Toa of Earth, governs the land and earthquakes. Kopaka, the Toa of Ice, controls ice flows and avalanches. Hohatu, the Toa of Stone, has unmatched skills with stones and boulders. And Lewa, the Toa of Air, rules the skies, the clouds, and the wind. To defeat Makuta, each Toa first had to gather six Kanohi, the great masks of power. Their efforts took them into great danger as they faced the Rai, Makuta's dark beasts. But the Toa were victorious. Once they mastered all the powers of the Kanohi, the Toa descended into the tunnels below the island's temple to confront Makuta. There, they combined their bodies and minds to form two great Toa Kaita, Akami and Warua. More powerful than ever before, the Toa defeated the Manas, Makuta's crab-like guardians. Finally, they overcame Makuta and achieved a great victory. Triumphant, the Toa returned to the surface, only to discover they now face a dangerous new foe, the Borak Swarm. Hidden in their cocoons, the Borak have slumbered for eons. Now, at last, they have awakened. Six breeds, each with their own unique powers. Rolled into a sphere, they are virtually invulnerable to all threats. Unfolded, they display great strength and agility. When their fierce swarms appear all over the island of Mata Nui, they will crumble mountains to dust, level jungles, and unleash floodwaters. Alone, each Borok is a menace. Together, they pose a threat to the very existence of the island. The Borok's greatest secret lies behind their faceplates, the Krana, strange beings whose special powers fuel the Borok swarms. The Krana are living creatures housed inside the shells of the Borok. It's believed the Krana provide the guiding intelligence to the swarms. When a Borok's faceplate is opened, the Krana can launch itself and attach leech-like to the face of its adversary. It can then assume control of its opponent's body, forcing its victim to serve the swarm. Only by unlocking the mystery of the Krana will the Toa be able to defeat the Borok. If you wake one, you wake them all. Turaga Onewa's village of Pokaro is located in the desert of the far north. Strange cliff formations dominate the land. The village consists of organic-looking shelters built from rock and sand. 
They blend in with the desert and work as a perfect protection against dangers and sandstorms. Pohatu is so immensely strong that he can literally move mountains. He can make massive rocks explode like bombs or roll with great precision towards an attacker. His huge feet contain great power, smashing even the most unyielding stones with a single kick. His only fear is water. He cannot swim and he sinks like a stone. Kanohi Aki Toa Kaita Mask of Valor Kanohi Ruha Toa Kaita Mask of Wisdom Kanohi Kakama The Great Mask of Speed Kanohi Hao The Great Mask of Shielding Kanohi Miru The Great Mask of Levitation Kanohi Pakari the Great Mask of Strength. Kanohi Akaku, the Great Mask of X-ray Vision. Kanohi Kaukau, the Great Mask of Water. Click to see how Puhatu crushes stone formations. Click here to install wallpaper. Click. Turaga Onewa is the protector of Pohatu's legend. Like all of his tribe, he is sure-footed and swift over uneven ground. Onewa is known among his tribe as the referee, as his decisions are never argued, even though he is sometimes slow to come to one. Kanohi Rao, the noble mask of translation. Kanohi Matatu, the noble mask of telekinesis. Kanohi Huna, the Noble Mask of Concealment. Kanohi Komau, the Noble Mask of Mind Control. Kanohi Mahiki, the Noble Mask of Illusion. Kanohi Ruru, the Noble Mask of Night Vision. Huki lives in the desert village of Pokoro and is the greatest goal scorer of all time at Kohli. He is one of the few Maturan able to crush boulders with both his feet and his head. Kanohi Kakama, the Great Mask of Speed. Click here. The Nui Jaga are huge scorpion-like creatures. They can be found primarily in the deserts of Powai, though they have been spotted in the jungles and along the coast as well. Nui Jaga normally hunt in pairs. Click. The Parak very rarely get angry, but if they do, you'd better look out. 
Once they decide to tackle a problem, they won't quit until it is solved. They do not mind ignoring outsiders until it becomes clear that they must defend themselves. When they do, they advance slowly but surely towards the nuisance. Nothing will deter them. However, after an attack, they will usually return to their mission quickly. Kranak Zaha, Swarm Commanders. These Krana lead their Borok Swarm on their mission. Krana Zaha, Squad Leaders. These Krana have the ability to communicate telepathically with other Krana of the Swarm. Krana Vu, Surveyors. These Krana can use a Borok to fly short distances ahead of the Swarm. Krana Sa, Clearance Workers. These Krana spearhead the Swarm's mission. Krana Yo, Moles. These Krana use their Borok to tunnel through anything on the island. Krana Ja, Scouts. These Krana have radar-like senses that detect distant obstacles. Krana Bo, Sentinels. These Krana can see in the dark. Krana Su, Workers. These Krana have colossal energy and inhabit the strongest of Borok. Click to discover the strength of Parak. Parak Va are the great motivators of their swarm. Fast and agile, they not only run scouting missions and keep communications in order over vast areas, but they also keep the Parak swarm together. Islanders sometimes joke that they are goat dogs. Onu Koro is home to Turago Venua. This village consists of huge caves dug deep underground safely hidden from the surface. Like their Toa, Onua, the people of Onukoro have night vision but are sensitive to daylight. Onua is at home below ground. With his huge hands he scrapes out tunnels in the rocky cliffs over Papu Neo Reef. His low squat body and head allow him to move quickly in tunnels, and his infrared eyes give him amazing night vision. In daylight, his eyesight is poor, although he compensates with amazingly powerful hearing. He is slower on open land than underground, but has incredible strength and surprising dexterity. Click to see how Onua digs underground tunnels. Turaga Wenua is the protector of Onua's legend. 
He oversees the work in the rock quarry and in the vast complex tunnels, always foreseeing problems before they occur. Everyone on Mata Nui knows Wenua for his fairness, good judgment, wisdom, and honesty. He should always be listened to with care and respect. Onepu stands to the right of Turaga Wenua. He has been entrusted with grave responsibility as captain of the Onu Karo Usulri because his skill with Usul battle crabs is legendary. Click here to go back. The Nuvok are the most solitary of the swarms. They do not immediately defend themselves, but when they determine what is happening, they will strike out with their formidable hammer shields. If backed into a corner, they will strike out tenaciously until help arrives. They are at their most vulnerable in open spaces. Therefore, the best strategy for catching a Nuvok is to lure it above ground away from its swarm. Click to discover the strength of Nuvok. Nuvok Va, sometimes nicknamed tunnel foxes by the islanders, are not naturals at heavy digging, but can burrow out of most situations. Normally they are spotted in distant shadows, moving with a quick scamper, then taking a pause to listen. They can see in the dark, and squeeze through gaps you would not think possible. Turaga no Kama lives in the floating village of Gakoro. It's built out of strong elastic seaweed, drifting in the water below the impressive white cliffs. Gali is the Toa of water. She is sometimes said to be heard playing in the swirling whirlpools and fast currents, which can pull the unwary right down to the very bottom of the ocean. Wisdom and agility make Gali an expert in self-defense, but her concentration and temper always fail her when she is too hot or too dry. Click to see how Gali moves in Nao Bay. Click here to go back. Turaga no Kama, protector of Gali's legend, knows more about the ways of the oceans and rivers than anyone but Gali herself. No Kama has a reputation for bringing the Turaga together and resolving disagreements with her practical logic. Maku lives in the village of Gakoro. Her skill at canoe racing is legendary, and her sense of direction is flawless. She can navigate through the waters surrounding Mata Nui, even in the worst conditions. Click. 
Tarakawa live in the oceans and rivers of Mata Nui, preferring the shallows close to the shoreline. They are huge lizard-like creatures that almost always hunt in pairs. Those Matoran villagers who sail on the waters of Mata Nui have learned to fear the Tarakawa more than any other Rai. Click here to go back. The Galak are slippery customers. You never really know where you stand with them. Just when you think you've got their methods figured out, they change them. They will never react in the same way twice, and they will never strike in the same place twice. Click to discover the strength of Galok. Galukva never seem to be moving fast, but they never stop, so their journey times are faster than you would think. Their slinking movements are ideally suited to cutting through water, but they are also accomplished climbers. Turaga Nuju's village is called Kokaro. It's tucked away under a huge solid ice block dividing two glaciers safe from dangerous avalanches and icy storms. Kopaka is cool, calculating, and methodical in his actions. His long ice blade cuts and melts ice. One skillful swipe can cause avalanches or instantly freeze anything it touches. It is believed that Kopaka brings the winters and the long cold nights. And it is known that his power strikes a balance against the fiery presence of Tahu. He must stay well clear of fire, for heat will slow his movements and his reactions. Click to see how Kopaka stops a dangerous avalanche. Turaga Nuju is the protector of Kopaka's legend. Nuju has great mystical vision and seems to have more time to react to situations than anybody else. Matoro is the sole interpreter of Nuju's mystical stories, following the meaning of the storyteller's movements and tones. Matoro stays close to Nuju since the Borak have awoken so he's close at hand whenever the Turaga hold their councils. The Korak consider themselves invincible and are dismissive of danger. They will carry on working until they have no choice but to react. This makes it easier for the Toa and their villagers to capture individual Korak, but when they do respond, the entire group responds. They have no regard for their own safety. They are great tacticians and undercover workers. However, they have one weakness. They always confront one-on-one, -on -one, rather than as a unified force. 
forcing them to rely on their formidable individual skills. Click to discover the strength of Korok. Korakva walk tall and slide down glaciers with relaxed skill. They are also masters of camouflage with excellent hearing. At the slightest sign of attack, they bury themselves in ice with only their heads showing until the swarm arrive to protect them. Turagava Kama lives in Takoro. Located in an extinct underground lava river, the village looks like a collection of miniature volcanoes. It even has a small lava stream for heating. Tau is the fiercest of the six Toa, and the most feared. You don't want to get into a fight with Tau if you can help it. He is most at home in the hot molten world of the Mangai volcano where he surfs on lava flows, using his sword of flames to cut through the rocks and keep the lava moving towards the ocean. Click to see Tahu surf the waves of the lava. Turaga Vakama is the holder of the Great Fire Staff and protector of Tahu's legend. He is famous for his quick temper and boundless courage. His one flaw is his boldness. It could get him into trouble. Jala's athletic ability and no-nonsense manner make him the obvious choice to stand on Vakama's right side. Jala is the captain of the guard in Takoro and works hard to protect his village. Although they are very different creatures, Muaka and Kanira work together because Makuta wishes them to do so. Muaka is a large tiger-like creature and Kanira resembles a great bull. They are two of the most powerful Rai. While Borak are not naturally aggressive, the Tanuk are the least passive of the swarms. They anger easily, and if threatened, they will strike first and ask questions later. When they strike, they do it as a team, making them all the more dangerous. However, they tend to act impulsively and are not as calculating as some of the other swarms. Click to discover the strength of Tanuk.
Fast and reckless, Tanok Bar can be seen scurrying at great speed along dangerous ledges with their growing staff of flames to guide them through the darkest of forest paths and the vast network of Mangai caves and tunnels. Turaga Matau's village, Lake Horo, lies hidden in Leva's jungle region on the west of Matanui. The village is disguised to look like hanging jungle weeds to protect it from the evil beasts of Makuta. Lewa is supremely competent in aerial activities. He glides through the air with ease while jumping from tree to tree. His axe effortlessly slices through trees and vines as he climbs through his jungle around Kauai Bay. Lewa prefers to inhabit the treetops because he is somewhat clumsy on land and flat surfaces. Click to see how Lewa rules in the treetops of the jungle. Turaga Matau is the protector of Lewa's legend. He is also a brave warrior and a leader who receives the utmost loyalty. The tribe repays him with great courage. Kongu is one of the most talented residents of his treetop village of Lake Horo. Kongu loves birds and naturally handles them with such ease that he has become one of Lake Horo's great bird wranglers. The Nui Rama resemble large flying insects. They can be found throughout Mata Nui, though it is believed they make their nests in Lewa's jungles. Nui Rama spend most of their time in the air, stalking their prey or spying on the toa for Makuta. Although the Levak work in swarms, they tend to operate best in smaller squads of eight they move in fast and accomplish their objectives swiftly. They are probably the most individually motivated of all the Borak, and more than capable of thinking and operating effectively on their own. The Levak are clever tacticians. They never strike in one place for long, and it is hard to predict where they will turn up next. Click to discover the strength of Levak. Levakva are loud and aggressive beyond their modest stature. They move with ease from mud to water and up into trees, wailing and whooping clearly above all other sounds. Their confidence is not false, for they are never far from their swarm, and few things are more fearsome than a squad of Levak. The Kini Nui is a massive temple on the island of Mata Nui. The Toa came here after they gathered all of the great masks of power. 
and it is here they received the golden kanoi they still wear today. The Kini Nui opened before them, and they descended deep below the surface of the island to confront the Manas and Makuta. Amaja Nui, a circular pit of sand where legends are told with sacred stones. But when times are dark, it is also used to discuss how to overcome the danger. The Manas are the most powerful guardians of the deepest and darkest places. They resemble huge crabs, and their sheer power and vicious tempers are legendary. Just where on Mata Nui they can be found remains a mystery, but it is believed they protect the Makuta's secret lair. Like all Rai, knocking off their infected masks can defeat Manas. No one knows if a maskless mana can be tamed, however, because no one has ever succeeded in knocking a mask off of one of them. Click to go to the Extras section. Click to go to the Island section. Click to go to the Game section. Click to go to the click to get a full overview of your collection. Click to go to the Krana collection section.
Click to make a picture of your collection and save it on your desktop. Click to leave the CD-ROM and go to the Internet. Click to leave the CD-ROM. Click to go to the game section. Click to go to the extras section. Matanui was one hidden in their cocoon.